Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and this is part 5 of our PWA video tutorial series. So from the previous tutorial, we have implemented the install event listener for the service worker and we try to add the console lag um, service worker has been installed and also we have here the app.js uh, where we try to display also if the service worker is um, present in the navigator object and try to display if the service worker has been you know registered successfully so in this particular video tutorial guys we're going to be uh, looking at the activate event um, for the service worker so basically um, service worker once we um, register it for the first time then it will automatically activate the service worker inside the browser but it's not the case if we change something in the service worker file and um, save it and it will not activate the new version of our service worker so what we could do or what the user could do is try to um, um, close the browser and um, reopen the browser for the um, new version of service worker to be reflected inside our browser so now let's try to look at the activate event so we're gonna add the code inside our service worker file um, sw um, dot js and in here we have the install service worker or not really install service worker we're just trying to um, you know add event listener for the install event and we're getting the um, response event object right here um, and which you know contains the call, uh, callback function uh, and then try to display that the service worker has been installed successfully now what we could do here is try to look at also and try to listen for another event which is the activate so activate event and we're gonna type in here self and then add event listener and this time we're gonna use activate instead of install so activate and then we're gonna have to um, use a callback function right here um, whenever we um, have this activate event right here so we're just going to display something to the console so service worker has been activated so we could try to uh, edit our sw.js file and save that and go back to our browser so let me close this first and um, let me go to the application tab right here and for now I'm just gonna uh, clear site data so it will clear all the other information such as the um, index DB the SQL cookies and more for this particular application so um and also the information about our app so for example the service workers so we could you know clear site data right here and um let's try to go to our console first and refresh and as you can see here we do have um service worker has been installed service worker has been activated and of course service worker registered now the order of this um call box right here is not guaranteed so there there are times that you'll be getting activated first installed or registered as the first one to be uh you know to appear here so it's it's not always um in order okay now um as i've said if you install and register um, the service worker first um, for the first time then it's going to activate um, automatically 
so we we can see here the activated event right here now if we try to edit our sw or the service worker file that we have here so for example we'll, we'll try to add here comment new content for example save and it's not going to reflect uh, automatically right here because that's because we need to um, reactivate and um, currently we're using the update on reload but if we try to um, check or uncheck this let's try to, re to refresh and um, for now you can uh, unregister the service worker so unregister and then let's try to go to console and then we're getting installed activated registered again but if we try to remove this or change the content of our service worker file and then go back to to the website then we're not getting the activated event right here so inside our application as you can see the new version of the service worker is waiting to activate right here so this means that this is the new version waiting to be activated and the currently active service worker is right here um, this is the old version and this is the new version so whenever we try to edit the service worker it will not automatically activate the most current version that we have so there are ways that you can you know activate the new version of the service worker though so the first one is to uh, click on this skip waiting so if you click on that then the new version of the service worker uh, service worker will be activated or yeah and then all you have to do is refresh the page so to make sure that the um, new version will work properly okay and um, another way to make sure that the new version of, of the service worker is activated properly so for example let's try to remove this save and go back to our browser so we do have here a new um, version which is waiting to activate waiting for it to be you know activated and be applied to the browser itself now uh, another or as i've said one way of activating is this skip waiting and another way is to check this update on reload meaning every time you click um or you know you know every time you change the server service worker file and save that then uh, it will automatically um, activate the new version of our service worker so let's try that so let's go back here and um, let's try to add back the um, comment activate service worker and let's save okay so as you can see we don't have to click on the skip waiting option so it automatically activated the new version of our service worker so this is helpful especially when it comes to pro um you know uh developing pro uh, progressive web app so you don't have to manually click on the activate option just to reflect the new changes um on your service worker file so if we try to modify this once again modify save and it will automatically activate our new version of service worker okay so now let's try to audit our our app and basically see what are the other options or other problems that we might have for this particular pwa implementation so all you can do is go to this option right here and open up this lighthouse um, option 
So we could see here the categories that we would, you know, try to uh, generate report. Um, we could uh, try to check all these options right here. But for now, let's just uncheck the SEO and just select progressive web app. So let's try to evaluate our um, app. So it's auditing and it needs to, uh, we need to wait for a few seconds. So right here, we do have the um, different items that we could improve for our progressive web, web app to, you know, function um, with no problems. So we have here the current page does not respond with 200 when offline. Well, um, we need to configure this later on because, of course, we want our app to run when even if it is offline. So we need to configure this also. And then the second problem that we have here is that the start URL does not respond with 200 when offline. Okay. So um, we need to configure this also. But for the installable um, area, so we could see that we have the green right here, which means that we're okay for this particular item. So uses HTTPS, um, but we're not using really it's, it's, um, HTTPS, but the local host is an exception for this so that we could, you know, develop properly the PWA using our local machine. And we also have register a service worker. So we already did that for our uh, app. So web app manifest. So we have this particular file. Um, does not redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS. So if you want to uh, solve this particular problem, you have to deploy your app into um, a site or a domain that has this HTTPS. Okay. Does not set theme color for the address bar. Okay. We're going to address that later on. Um, does not provide a valid uh, Apple Touch icon. So... Uh, we also need to address the, this particular item later on. And of course, the last one is the manifest doesn't have a mask, uh, maskable icon. So we will address all these problems and this will uh, all these items will, gui will guide us um, on how to configure our progressive web app. So every time you develop a progressive web app, you have to make sure that you check this particular lighthouse um, tab and then generate a report for your progressive web app. So I think that's all there is to it guys in this particular video and in the next video we're gonna add um, more features to our PWA project and perhaps we're gonna start saving um, resources uh, into the cache so that uh, we could support this particular offline capability of our app, which is to be expected for our project. So again, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.